What's up everybody, it's Coach Drivers from Strong Dragon Training and today I'm going to take you guys through a very, very classic stretch, the classic quad stretch. If you guys want to skip to the exercise itself or the stretch itself rather, check out the time below. It's going to take you straight to the movement and you won't have to worry about all the yapping in between. But if you want to find out a little bit of the details about how to do it correctly and what to watch out for when you're doing the exercise, stay tuned. I'm going to dive into it with you guys in detail. So here we go. Before I dive into the details of the uh, the movement, please, if you haven't so already, like and subscribe to my channel. I'm posting a lot of videos. I'm trying to get as much knowledge out there as possible, and I would really appreciate a little bit of support from you guys just to know if I'm getting the right content out there. If you guys like how I'm explaining it and all the uh, effects and little nits and things that I put in there to uh, make the video a little bit better, or if you have ideas for other movements and you're not sure of a movement, please let me know in the comments below. I'll be more than happy to make a video for you guys and get out there as much knowledge as possible as I can share with you guys. Enough of that, let's dive into the movement. So, the quads, right, the front of your leg right over here, the quadriceps, four muscles working in there and the amazing four muscles that are pretty much being activated throughout lots of movement, not every movement that we do on a daily basis. These movements are done with the help of these four quadriceps, four massive muscles in your body. As a collection, these are considered one of the most powerful muscles in the body. So, the idea of these ones, what are the muscles first and foremost? We have the rectus femoris, which if you were to peel the skin right off of the top of the thigh, that would be the muscle you see right up front. Then you have in the inside part, the vastus medialis, on the side, the vastus lateralis, and then the vastus intermedius is right under the rectus femoris. Now, I'm not going to bore you guys with all the origin points with the trochanter and the intertrochanterial uh, origin of all these muscles, but what you need to know is that all four, they originate in different points. Some of them go over the hips, some of them attach or originate rather right below the hip joint. So this tells you that the quadriceps are not only in, um, are used for extending the knee out, but they're also used in helping flex the hip right? That's why two of the muscles go over the hip, two of them stay right below the hip joint. They all insert through the uh, uh, patella or tendon and they go right into the tibia. So all they connect to the same point, but not all of them go over the hip. So they do different uh, actions when it comes to your leg movement. But anyways, we are here to learn how to stretch the muscle. So a very, very easy stretch for the muscle and the most classic one, the one that I want to spend time with you guys on today is the classic knee bend grabbing the ankle right behind your body. Now, I am sure that most of you people out there have at least seen somebody do this movement to stretch the front of their thigh. So, it's very important to watch for a few key notes on this one. When you're doing the movement, first and foremost, you've got to make sure that you have good balance. If you don't, stay close to something that you can hold on to. Nothing wrong with that, nothing wrong with that. When you do the movement, depending on how flexible you are originally, you may be able to just lift the leg up, grab the ankle and pull, or you'll need to bring it up, grab, and then move your leg to the back. Whichever way it is, it is perfectly, perfectly fine to do. Now, you want to stretch all of the muscles at once. All four muscles need to get a good stretch out of this movement. So what you are planning on doing for this one is you want to keep the knee of the leg that you're stretching pointing straight into the ground, okay? So you grab right at the, uh, the ankle area is ideally where you want to grab on and you're pulling your heel towards your bum. So as you see back here, my heel is right next to my butt. The other point is the knee needs to be next to the other leg that is being a support and it cannot be out like this. So you cannot be stretching your quads like this, okay? You need to have a fully straight posture, legs next to each other and boom, pull the heel again from the side, pull the heel as much as you can close to your butt and keep the knee pointed to the ground. When doing this, now you are pulling and stretching from the insertion point of the muscles, right? So this one will activate everything going up into the muscle, but most of the activation will stay into the lower part, right? Or rather the stretch, just to say the more accurate word. It will stay into the lower part right above the knee. 
So you're grabbing, you're stretching, don't bend with it, stay nice and tall, and pull back. Now, there's another stretch I'm gonna cover in another video that allows you to stretch from the upper part for you because remember, some of the muscles go over the hip joint and they attach, so that means that you need to do something to your hip to stretch them better. However, for now, for the purpose of this video, all you need to worry about is grab on your ankle, pull the leg behind your body, as you can see from the side. Again, grab the ankle, pull in the back, of your body, your uh, your heel, your ankle, and reach in to pull the heel towards your bum. The knee stays straight, pointed towards the ground. Your back is straight, chest is out, and then pull as much as you can until you feel a nice little stretch right in the front of your thighs. That's when you know that that muscle is being stretched. And remember that it needs a good, solid stretch a couple of times a day because you're using these muscles without even realizing. They're so used to movement, they're so massive and powerful, you don't realize throughout the day how much you're using them. But remember, if these muscles are tight, they're too tight, you are causing now a pull, a pull on your hip. And now your hips from being so, you're pulling them whip, up or you're pulling your upper body into it right but one way or another you are not having a nice pelvis that is fully straight you're having now a tilted one which is not something good when you're going now on the back of your body into your lower back way too much pressure because now your lower back needs to work extra hard to try and pull that pelvis back and bring you back into a nice straight top position okay so now let's look at this exercise without any kind of commentary and take a look please at all of the details of it So there you have it guys, a nice classic and simple stretch for your quadriceps. The four muscle, again, which I mentioned at the beginning of the video, as a union, they form one of the most powerful muscles in the body. And they are, trust me, with all the heavy lifting that you have to do every day, to just carry your body weight around, carry grocery bags up and down the stairs, moving your own body weight up and down stairs, getting out of the bed, getting out from a floor seated position, anything like that, these muscles do a lot of work throughout the day and it's very important to get them stretched properly. So I hope this video helped you guys. I hope it gave you a little bit of an idea of what to do when it comes to this classic stretch. Again, if you guys know this exercise, just be careful on the little details that make the stretch more effective, better, for, your, uh, for the muscles that you're trying to stretch. So do be careful, you're very nitpicky about how the knee is, if it's too far out, too far forward, too far back. Be very, very careful with that so you can make it effectively and you can make it safe, okay? So again, hope you guys like it, hope it helped you guys. If it did, please like and subscribe to my channel. More videos to come and you'll show me a little bit of appreciation, a little bit of love by hitting that like button, hitting that subscribe button, and hey, if you want, hit the bell button as well. My name is Dragos, Coach Dragos from Strong Dragon Training, the flame of fitness. See you guys on my next video.